Good evening, Dale. Well, for those who I spoke with today who live in this small community of Roseburg, they say they move here because of the beautiful backdrops you see behind me and the mostly quiet streets. But when tragedy struck 24 hours ago, this community shut down. Today, though, was a day for healing once again. And we spoke with many people who said they had to do something. They came out to support one another. A close friend of mine lost her son in the incident yesterday, so I'm just having a difficult time. The vulnerable community of Roseburg, Oregon coming together. There was several times yesterday where I just okay. felt like crying. Dozens lining up in the warmth of the sun to donate blood. Nothing will make the pain go away that everybody's feeling and I just want to try and do whatever I can to help. To the rest of the world, those who were killed or injured in Thursday's mass shooting at Umpqua Community College are victims. But to this small town of 22,000, they were friends, classmates, and co-workers. Well, I work for the Winston Dealer Fire District, and um, the local 2091 has lost uh, family members. I knew a few people who were there. Jonah Fallon was on his way to class when he saw the sirens. I can actually see directly what this is helping. And on this day after tragedy, this community is proving they cannot be broken, taking steps toward the healing process. Lots of prayers and keep faith. This is the story of the people of Roseburg, first brought together by their love and appreciation for the blue rivers and thick trees that make up this quaint rural town. Now bound together as they begin to pick up the pieces and heal as one. We couldn't have asked for a better community than what we have here because it hit home hard. And Dell, I have to say, when I was at that blood drive earlier today, I got the chills, tears in my eyes to see how many people in this community stepped up and came together. They were still grieving themselves, many of the people in line still crying, but they said they wanted to be there for their fellow community members. And again, Umqua Community College will remain closed at least through Monday, and flags here in Roseburg are flying at half staff. Reporting live in Roseburg, Oregon, I'm Dina Kupfer, ABC 10 News. You know, it's a beautiful community. It's about 22,000 people. It looks like, you know, Life has just come to a standstill for the time being as, as they know it. We saw that beautiful candlelight vigil last night. Dina, I would expect maybe there would be another tonight, or you just kind of get the feeling that right now these people just want to be together, to, to, to share and kind of lean on each other, and even if that's at a blood drive. They certainly do, Dale, and today even there is a large media presence here, as you can imagine, international media here. A couple of women came up because they had flowers and wanted to just lay them somewhere. They didn't know where else to go. Of course, the campus is closed. You're blocked off about a mile outside of the entrance toward the school, so they laid their flowers in front of a sign that said, Pray for Roseburg, and that is something that we've seen echoed all throughout the signs here throughout this community as of late. All right. Dina, thanks.